Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. I'm going to step over here and see if I can bring this up on my iPad. Make sure the iPad is turned down. All right. Is it going to come up? That is the big question. Oh, a friend of mine put, posted a beautiful um, photo of a dahlia. All right, let's see. Are we gonna are we gonna cooperate tonight? Oh, there it is. No. Give it one more go through here. Aha, found it. All right. Hi, Joni. Oh, good. I'm glad you made it back safely. I hope you had a great trip. Get the water back in the tank. Or in the tank. I guess it hasn't been in there yet today. I haven't put my hat on yet, I see. It's always a big rush when I get home from work to eat dinner, pick it up as much as I can, and then get in here. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the post-dinner frog in the throat. Say hello when you pop on. Let me know where it is you're watching from. Hi, Diana. Welcome. Oh, awesome, Joni. I haven't even had my toe in water this year. So, so sad. I love being out on the water. Hello, Marilyn. How are you? I missed talking to you all last Thursday, but oh, what a wonderful day it was. I was very emotional. But it's today was her very first day of classes, so she even sent the first day of uh, school photo. All right, there we go. Water is in the tank. And if you see my arms being all flabby, I apologize. Hello, Patricia. Okay, there we go. All right, so how's everyone doing today? Uh, let me get my uh, hat on. All right, there we go. I feel so much better now. It's just something about wearing a hat makes me feel better. I spent, uh, I had my hair fixed on, or I did my own hair on uh, Thursday for um, the white coat ceremony, and then I didn't have to fix it again until this morning. Thank goodness for hats. It was wonderful. <clears throat> and it was bright and sunny, so having it out, my hair out of my eyes and something shading was perfect. Thank you for sprinkling, Diana. So if you are new, my name is Linda Anderson. I am a water marbling artist and um, every Monday night we do some water marbling and then on Thursday night we do some crafting. I am still trying to grow my page so if you wouldn't mind sprinkling out my video to a public page, your own or another public um, page, that would be fantastic. And if you are so inclined, you are able to give me stars, which is kind of like a tip. Um, and I use that money when I send out uh, giveaways. So I use that for the shipping charges. 
So <clears throat> I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Ours, I got home on Saturday night and then we did the, you know, the grocery, the laundry, all of that stuff yesterday and the day just flew by. So it was a busy, busy uh, four days that I was gone. Thank you, Joni. I appreciate that. Usually I don't get to see who gives them. So thank you so much. And, um, but the weather was hot and it was beautiful. Every time I go up north, I always just want to stay because I grew up in that immediate area where my daughter is. And it's just like, I don't want to come back to this, uh, this end of the state, but this is where home is. So here we are. But <clears throat> so tonight I'm going to try, um, one new item I have, I was challenged to do some car coasters. No idea if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. And I noticed there's two different sides on those car coasters. These are supposed to be um, sublimated. So I'm going to try the surface that's supposed to be sublimated because I believe that's a polyester that they put on there. <clears throat> Hi, Sandy. And polyester... Um, marbles well now will it on this I don't know and the opposite side is an unfinished um, um, ceramic <clears throat> and I know that would marble my concern is if I didn't finish that that the water um, from the condensation or whatever is that's on the cup would um, kind of wash off or wear through whatever I put it on and it wouldn't be worth it. So that's why I'm going to try the side that is to be sublimated. <coughs> Pardon me. Let me get a drink. And if you have not seen on my page yet, <coughs> I'm so sorry there. I think we've got it. I am now taking orders for um, rhinestone cups. This one will be on Etsy here probably uh, by Sunday. This is a gold and a black. It has a handle. It's a 20 ounce. And um, this one is $75. There are no bling on the handle, so it's you don't have to worry about knocking them off. They are on there very, very well. I use a very strong adhesive. So if you're interested in you want a different color, look at the ones that I have on um, my Facebook and uh, Instagram pages. And we can do like a plaid. We can do just solid with a blinged name. We can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, go Cougs is right. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, I just love that cup. I was I agonized over the stone color because they didn't seem quite right. I had all of our shirts out and I was um, trying to get it right. And then I was concerned because there wasn't a good gray. But the the what I used turned out perfect. So I had her open in at dinner that night and people in the... Uh, in the restaurant were commenting about it because it was so pretty but yeah we're pretty proud pretty proud it was and that cup was so much fun to do i had a blast doing it so let me know if anybody wants um that design it can be a full design without a name in it or it can have a name it, we just it's message me and we can work it out so hello betty may all right, so let's uh, turn you down and let's start marbling. We're going to do a hat tonight. I want to do a hat that's going to match. Let me show you these blue stones. So I'm going to pick a color that coordinates with these blue, these blue stones. And then I'm going to cut an Idaho and put it on the hat. And then I'm going to bling the shape of Idaho. I can do Washington. I can do Oregon. I can do Mississippi. I can do whatever we need to do. But if you're interested in something like that. But I keep wanting to do something with Idaho in it. Or on it. And I keep forgetting. I got a bunch of cards done. 
Idaho cards. I didn't have any cards that were printed with the logo going the right direction for Oregon. So I, the one Oregon paper is still waiting for cards. I have to place an order for those. But I have, um, I think, six or eight new Idaho. I live in southwestern Idaho, Sandy. I grew up about 24 miles from Pullman. And... Uh, what, eight miles less than that? Maybe it was 20 miles from Moscow and a little bit more to Pullman. So I grew up on the Palouse, just right down the road from both uh, U of I and uh, WSU. So those are my home, home schools. I actually, oh, oh no. You're not one of those purple fans, are you? We saw um, someone with a Husky shirt on campus and I was, you know, giving my daughter a hard time. I said, we better jump out and just escort them right off campus. Just can't have that. But all in good fun, though. All in good fun. My daughter, my youngest daughter, the one who is in vet school, was actually born in Seattle. We lived over on the Kitsap Peninsula in Hansville when she was born. So, okay, enough chit-chatting. And let's go ahead and... Hi, Shelly. How are you today? So let's get you turned down. So hold on. Thank you, Shelly. Get you pointed towards the tank. All right, let me tighten this up. It is beautiful out there. And we were right at the very tip of that peninsula, so um, we could go, you know, we got to watch the submarines come down uh, on one side, and I worked for a while in downtown Seattle, so I, I drove, I took a bus and a ferry, and I walked all to get to work. So that was kind of a long commute. All right, so let's get going. I want to... <coughs> Let's see, I want to match these, these stones. Hi, Joyce. So let me turn around here and figure out what might look best. It's almost time for me to start marbling ornaments. I got my ornaments. I took one out of the... Uh, the container so I could get the right size dowel to uh, so I can rest them on the correct size dowel and then when we left to go to Home Depot I left all the ornaments on the counter. Am I the only one that does things like that? Let's see. That would be a good one. That might be a good one. Let's see about this one. I can also use um, I think I'm going to put this in with it. Let's move these things out of the way. So this is the color of the stones and I just want it to accent so I think I'm going to to use these three and a gray and white. I think that'll look good on there because I don't want them to blend in. I want it to you to be able to see the shape. So let me get the gray. Ooh. I've already got paint on me, guys. This, this was not closed all of the way. The gray, I went to shake it and got paint all over my hand. So I think these colors will look good. If not, I can always do it in clear. So I'm going to close up the stones so they don't end up all over the floor. Let me get the 
white. All right, let's get going. Now the hats that I'm using today, or the hat that I'm using today, this has a little different closure on the back. This one has the little, this kind of a closure instead of, I usually have the Velcro. This, these hats I had to get in an emergency because I was out of hats for an event and I still had another day to go. Hi Val. So I had to buy those um, at Walmart retail. But, um, so I thought I would use one of those. They're a little bit smaller than the other hats are generally. So if you're one with, if you like this, if you like this hat, let me know, because I can do a different state on it. I do not have to do Idaho, but with a, I have market on Saturday, and so I thought I'd like to have one that has Idaho on it for Saturday. Let's put a little bit of gray in here. This is not the dark gray. This is the normal gray. Let's use the teal. So did anyone do anything fun this weekend? I had a blast. Absolute blast. We ran around. They have a creamery on campus at Washington State, and it has the best huckleberry swirl ice cream. So we got ice cream. We, of course, hit the crimson and gray. Oh, look at that. That color does not like to float on these. All right, let's pick a different one. Do you see that? Not floating at all. Just tiny little dots. It says, no thank you. So let's see. I don't know if I have another light blue. This one's kind of purpley, and I don't know if I want that in there. And more importantly, I don't know if I want that with the stones. I wanted a light color in there. Let's see what else. Let's try a little bit of this one. See what happens. There, that one works. It's always amazing when you work with colors and, uh, let's see, what, why am I shadowed? Let me pull this up. Move this around maybe. Got shadows today on the screen. Let me open the curtain. I just feel like I can't get it right today. Still looks a little dark. I don't know what it is, but we'll have to go with it. So now the, hello Becky. Oh, do we have someone new here? Hello, Jessica. Welcome. It does. The, the brim of that hat is a little bit smaller than the others. Personally, I, I like the longer bills because I, I hate the sun in my eyes. So now the question, do, do I freestyle or do I use the comb? Let's see. Thumbs up. If you want to freestyle hearts, if you'd write, like to see me comb. Hello, Melissa. Thumbs up for freestyle hearts for combing. All 
Oh, so far the hearts are winning. Okay, I guess we are combing this design. <laughs> okay, Oops. let me move these ornaments so I don't knock them off. I think I seem to be uh, wanting to knock everything over and trip on everything today. See, there's just a little bit of that dark blue in here, and I'm hoping that um, just that little bit, and then when I put those stones on it, it will really pull that out. All right, grab the comb. Or the rake. I don't know. One day I call it one thing, the next I call it another. So here we go. Now the gray looks very brown in the tank. It is a very brown gray versus a blue gray. Okay. Do I want to swirl or should I leave it? You guys are helping me today. Shall I swirl or leave it as it is? Swirl. There's one swirl. Swirl. Two swirls. Okay. Sw three swirls. Everybody wants to swirl. Here we go. Okay. So let's see where I like the best. You know, I have to place it just right. Let me get the rinse bucket over here. This is acrylic paint floating on the water. Hello, Judy. So see this swirl right here? I want that on the brim. Need a little bit larger hands. All right, here we go. There it is. That's actually a fantastic color combination. Hello, Michelle. I'm just rinsing it in regular water, just getting off the excess paint and any of the uh, size that came with it. Let me uh, go get a bag because once again, I've forgotten to bring bags. get the board out. I'll show you what it looks like rinsed.
these hats don't have quite as much structure in the body as the other ones do. They're much softer. Is that a good good view of it? I really like those colors much better than I thought I was going to. Thank you, Joni. Okay, let's get it in the bag. And if you're new, I just put it in a Ziploc baggie and then after I'm done tonight, I will rinse it again and just hang it up to dry. Now for these, since I can't Velcro it over my rod, I just put a hanger tip through the back, the hole in the back, and hang it right up there. All right. So there's the first one. The uh, two hats, the neutral hat from last time turned out very nice. The yellow and um, orange and orange, I think, the two oranges, that turned out well. Not as bright as I thought it would, but that's all right. Not everybody likes a great big bright thing. Not that the hat is big, but. Alright, now to remove the paint off the water, nope, I, I take it out as soon as I'm done marbling tonight, I will take it in the um, tub and rinse it off again with cool water and then I'll hang it up in the tub to dry. I have an extra um, shower rod running down the middle of my guest bathroom tub, and that's where I hang everything to dry. So I usually have a very colorful uh, bathtub, because a lot of times there will be a little bit of paint still on it that wants to run off, and it drops into the bottom of the tub. So I do want to wipe this um, blue off the edges so it doesn't come out and contaminate my uh, next project. I do not heat set the hats. You can with a heat gun. You have to be very careful to not burn a hole in them. But I do not. I've never had any issue with them. Like anything else, any other piece of cloth, once it's been marbled, you want to wait at least seven days before you wash it. I haven't ever washed my hats. Um, I would not recommend the uh, little form that goes in the dishwasher and it, it's at a high heat. I would not recommend that. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. So nice to have you here. Ugh. Need to almost empty the trash can. It's getting heavy. Okay, so now I want to I want to try the coasters. So let's use colors that I know are pretty good. Oh, my banner is coming down. I hate putting holes in my walls, so I always use a, or generally I will use a straight pin for sewing to tack things to the wall and just give you just a tiny little hole. Let's see, how are we going to do this? I think I'll just use a little bit of all the colors here.
And don't forget, as the holiday season is approaching, we do have the bean box as well. That's a custom um, baby gift box. It has a marble uh, bodysuit, a receiving blanket, a burp cloth that I make myself, not the bodysuit, but the other things, uh, little sneakers, mugs for mom and dad. So it's, it's a very nice little gift. So that is available. Obviously I can do any custom hat that you need. I don't have any more of the sun hats, the big, you know, straw hats. So that's all the paint I'm going to put in here. I don't want it super um, uh, concentrated because I don't know how it's going to take. So this is just a test run. I've never even used a car coaster. And I'm just wanting to move that orange through some of these big blocks of yellow. And I only have two of them prepped. So we can pick whatever portion we like best. Ooh, I like that right there. Alright, so let me go get them. So this is what they are. If you're like me and did not know, they are, um, they have the polyester on this side so you can sublimate them and then it's just a ceramic on the back, which I have a piece of tape on it, that will be my handle. So let's see what happens. This may not work, I may just end up wiping it off. But I won't know unless I try. And these are gonna have to go right onto the board. I don't think these will float. They're pretty heavy. And that looks like a, a mistake here, but it's really just white paint. So let's see what happens with this. It looks like it's wanting to pull away. Let's do the other one. Like I said, I can always wash those off and try again. See how it looks like it wants to pull away right here on the around the edges? So I don't think this is gonna work. I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off and then I'll prep them again a little heavier this time and see if that works. I'll prep, I can't do a prep them again tonight, but where's that paper towel? See, it just comes right off. There's a little bit of yellow right here that wants to stay. So I'll put it under a little water and rinse all that off. And we'll try again next week. Now I know this side would work, but I already did, explained, whoops, see you can see there's some color right there. I know that would take very well but I don't want it to wash off with the condensation. Now 
Yeah, see? Just gonna wipe right off. So I'll take some soap and water and get the rest of this off after I'm done. Oops, tape's coming off. Hi, Liz. So that was the, the car coaster experiment. That did not work very well this time. Oh, look at there. I just pulled the newspaper right out from the leg of the light and it didn't fall over. I feel like one of those people who can pull the, the tablecloth out from under the plate. One of the projects I wanted to do tonight, I forgot to prep. And they're sitting right over here beside me. So next week we're going to have some fun. Do it one more time. You guys, I tell you, it was, they were talking during, uh, before they started um, coding the kids on kids, the uh, students at the event on Thursday. They were talking about, you know, how all of the kids that are there, all of the students that are there, you know, have worked so hard and this has been their dream and now it's going to come to reality and all of that. And knowing how hard my daughter worked to get there, I was crying before they even got them up there. And then um, they did all the Washington kids because it's Washington, Idaho. Uh, Montana and Utah that they all have it has a cooperative with Washington State University and um, so they did all the Washington kids then they went uh, virtual to uh, Logan and did the uh, Utah kids and then they came back and did Idaho and Montana and my daughter because of our last name was uh, first up and they said her name and I just burst into tears. It was so awesome. All right, now what color should I use? Let's see if we can do a light green and a ye light yellow. The next one I have a few more of those stinking bookmarks left, so I thought we would try to do them. They've been giving me fits. I've washed off more bookmarks than I know what to do. I did get my project done, though. Let's see, the other white. Now, as you remember, I have two different kinds of paints. I'm going to be using the other kind of paint from what I've used already tonight. And again, I'm just going to do... Um, a light, again, not heavily saturated. It was so wonderful. Now, I forgot to get a picture of just our daughter by herself in her white coat. But, um, oh well. And then we did something fun. She wanted her white coat put in um, a shadow box. And if you go see on my page, I actually was able to accomplish that. I'd never done anything in a shadow box before. So that was kind of fun. It actually turned out. Although I put the, the coat, <laughs> you know, it came with hangers on the back of the shadow box. And I got it all in there. It was all perfect. And the hangers are 
the wrong way. I said, just put another hanger on the back of that yourself because I'm not taking it out and redoing it. And I didn't think I could get it that nice again because it just folded right, just perfect to go in there. And this is kind of a soft green. I did a soft yellow and a soft green. Let's see what we get. Bubbles are not our friends. So again, this is not a heavy duty, um, super saturated uh, colors today. As I do, I print them, I let them dry, and then um, I'll take and after they're completely dry, I spray paint them with a white uh, spray paint, and then I seal it with a clear one and then when you pull the, the backing, the protective backing off the other side, you can see the marbling. And it's all, um, it's sealed on the back. So we'll do this one freestyle for those of you who like freestyle. And I don't know how much the... Um, the green is going to show until I get that uh, white on the back. Ah, uh, thanks, Tammy. Yes, Liz, one proud mom is right. I got a back to first day of school photo from her today. I've heard the, about her class. They, it's interesting because instead of changing rooms, they have all the first year in one room. And hello, Rosemary. And then they, um, the professors just come in one after the other. They don't have to move. So they can get the, all settled into their spot and just stay there for the day. So let me go get a couple of the... Uh, bookmarks. Now one of these bookmarks I dropped and caught and so we'll, we'll see if there's a big oil slick for my hands on one of them that doesn't take. I know these do float. Go get the next one. bringing in my very fancy little drying stand. I'll just prop them up against these skewers so the uh, excess paint and water will run off. Okay, one more. I have to just pick a spot. Let's do it right over here. Moment of truth. Now that looks like it wants to stay. I'm interested to see how my, how green the green looks. Once it's dry and once it gets some white behind it.
So this one has a little bit along the edges where it looks like it wants to pull away. So we'll see if, if that works later. dropped it on its face. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wipe that one off. I just I just mucked it up right here on the edges. It, it fell face down. So just like the other one, I just pulled the tape off of it. While it's wet, I can just wipe it right off. And even if it's dry, I can take some soap and water and uh, get that off. And there it is, just good as new. Put its tape back on it. Okay, let's get this one out and see if I can not mess this one up. That one looks good. All right, success. They're all in there. Nice and safe. You know, I really should, um, let's try an experiment here. Where's my, uh, here it is. Just trying to move the paint around in the areas where I uh, pulled those bookmarks out. Let me try something here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it when I get it done, though. Let me move the bookmarks. I don't know if I have any paper scissors in here. I have scissors, but they cut uh, fabric. I want to try a piece of tissue paper in here. Hold, oh, please. Let me go run and get the scissors. go let me get it to let's cut it about in half oh I picked the worst scissors in the whole drawer this will not be a straight cut but I thought this would be kind of fun if I marbled some tissue if it works and then wrap some of the items when I ship them that would be fun Oops, it tears very easily, worse than the rice paper does. I'm going to try to get it out. Oops, it's just disintegrating. I think I need four hands when I do that so we can move it directly to a board and not, not carry it anywhere, just pull it right out onto the board. That might work. It marbled. It took the color very nicely. It just fell apart. Oh, you know, I have some of that big, let's try, let's do an experiment. 
another experiment. I get to playing, and then I keep going, oh, maybe I should try this. Maybe I should try that. All right. So let's use those same colors that I just used. And I have two different types of rice paper. One is much thinner than the other one. And let's try a sheet of that um, thinner one without prepping it. I usually prep all of my pieces. I do have a digital booklet if you're in, uh, interested in a more in-depth uh, discussion about marbling. And then I do have a kit which gives you all the information. And I am available for answers also when you buy the kit to try to help you along. A lot of this is environmental. Your conditions are gonna be different than my conditions because of humidity and temperature and all the fun things like that. Okay, and I'm gonna put in a little bit more of that yellow. We're going to pop that bubble. I'm going to comb this piece. I just have so many ideas and never enough time to try them all. If there's anything on my page that you want to see in a different color or you just message me and I can or email me and we'll find out if I can do it. Because you may have some fantastic ideas that I have not thought of yet. Oh, and you know what I should have done? As I'm pulling that back and forth, I can move it like this also, and it makes an even just a really cool design. I, I, I've forgotten about that. I haven't done that in a while. And I'm about ready to lose this pin. I need to put some more glue on that one. I need to also fill in the where I'm missing teeth. All right, let me go get a sheet of that paper. Let me dry this board off quickly. Just about fell flat on my face as I went out the door, tripped on cords. Now, this piece of paper does not fit nicely in this tank, but we're just experimenting. So, now this, again, this has a smooth side and a rough side. I always like to get um, work on the textured side. That's just personal preference. I usually always prep this and maybe I don't have to. Ooh. 
Look at that. Oh, it did such a good job. I've got it going the wrong way. There we go. Look at that. It took it beautifully. Yay! So now I'm going to just take a little bit of water and dribble it over this. I don't have to. I can do as much paper as I want without being prepped. So let me rinse it real quick. It held the color just fine without being prepped. And there it is. I know you cannot see the green very much. It is a very pale green. Hopefully it'll be a little bit darker once it's dry. So I will go just take some, I have some skirt uh, hangers and I just clip it and let it hang to dry. And then I just press it under a piece of parchment paper when I'm done and then I can use it for whatever I want so it looks like here right here a minute that didn't take quite as well as normal but we'll see once it's dry how it looks so that was fun that was a fun experiment so in a pinch I can probably just do this without prepping it I probably want to prep it the lines look really good but a few places it looks like it kind of didn't hold as well as normal. So I'm going to bring you up here. So I hope you enjoyed that time. Woo! Things are going every which direction. Hang on. T-Rex arms. Okay. Got you back here. So I hope you had a good time tonight. I know I'm not as long as I usually am, but with being so busy over the weekend, I didn't have a lot of time and I forgot about the one thing that I um, wanted to do. So we'll do it next week. I'll put it out here on the table when I get done emptying all this out and getting it back in the refrigerator so I don't forget. But thank you all so much for being here. I cannot express how thankful I am to talk to each and every one of you. And it's so, so good to talk to you again and see all your names scroll across my screen. It just makes me so happy. And um, I hope to see you on Thursday night. We're going to be doing what we were going to do um, the Thursday before last when I didn't have power. So, um, or was that... Was that the night I didn't have power? I don't remember. Anyway, I know we missed a night on craft night because I didn't have power. So we'll be doing that. And I hope to see you there. If I don't see you, have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will, um, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you anything and it just may make their day. I think about that all the time as I'm walking in my, my office building. And I always try to live what I tell you. So have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Hope you can make it for craft night on Thursday. Bye, everyone.